people around here run a racket where they um, say that you need to pay them protection money or bad things are going to happen to you. But time and time again, they make excuses for why bad things happen to you despite having paid the money. So dad found a way to put that kind of money in escrow. And then um, if nobody did all the millions of things that I went through, um, then that money would be going to um, the person who had shook us down for it. But, um, you know, one of the things about my grandbrother and, you know, really none of the men except for dad being free, fully free, but there's a level where you have a lot higher autonomy, a lot more responsibility, um, is they, they have lives beyond their own uh, memory ongoing with what they're doing right now, but uh, depending on their character, there might be more bleed through or impulse or decisions that would uh, that they would do, and having this capacity increases their um, potential for autonomy and authority. So, um, I I suspect that my um, grandbrother found this cash, but I really don't know how the payment was made. I just know that um, there was one there was one bill that people denied existed until the very last minute to put it on my credit on the rest. And Dad had me run up a bunch of bills because I was uh, dancing a lot and I would only dance if he was there because he would make sure that I got paid <laughs> and um, otherwise I just, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. And um, then the song, I think that's why they played that song when I was there, was because um, that would be the song that I would dance to, the song that mom would look for when she was looking for dad. So um, maybe they thought I would dance or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, Dad already made an arrangement with the girls for when their um, uh, manager um, got busted. And um, the whole fabric of our town is being turned upside down because I've been getting rid of um, Todd and Chris and some of the other alter egos of some of the people up in Washington so that Dad could use this place. And... Um, he uh, had previously made a comment um, about turning an abbey into an abattoir, and uh, he had me um, work for a lot of what needed to be bought, um, that if he bought it, they would know why. If I bought it, they would say, aha, we could accuse her of charity sometime in the future. I cannot be accused of charity, not at all. And, um, so, um, anyway, um, so I think we're, we're cashing in on some of that, and, um, yeah, this is going to be, um, one of Dad's primary hangaround spots, and, um, as long as I'm made of muscle, he's made of money, and, uh, we're changing genres a little bit, um, so I need to be in a slimmer form.